Tereta, tereta, tereta. Stop, stop, stop. Ok, ok. Hop, 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 hop. No le mueva. Las paragus. Hey guys, what's up? It's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. So in the video today, I'm just going to be giving you an update. I just finished my didactic year, thankfully, and I passed uh, all my classes, thankfully, and I'm about to start my clinical rotation and I just got my clinical schedule. So what rotations I am doing and when I am doing them. So I'm really, really excited and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hopefully this motivates you because I know when I started PA school, or before I started PA school, I would have watched videos and just seen others in didactic year and clinical year motivated me a lot. So hopefully this motivates you guys. Um, I was able to pass didactic year. So if I can do it, you can do it. I struggled a lot, but thankfully I passed and now I'm about to start my clinical year rotation. I am very, very nervous and actually my first semester I'm going to have a lot of difficult rotations. My first one's going to be ER and I start that next week so in less than a week I start my emergency room rotation. Um, if you've seen my other videos, my past experience is in healthcare experience. I did work in the ER. I worked in the ER for five years and I worked in several ERs. I worked in a psychiatry psychiatric ER where we had patients that were having like delusions or psychiatric emergencies come in. I also worked in the ER in downtown. Um, this was more of a higher trauma ER where we had gunshot wounds come in, um, overdoses, stab wounds, etc. And then I worked in just normal ERs where we had a lot of your cardiovascular diseases, your heart attacks, um, your uh, anaphylaxis, etc. So I worked in a lot of emergency rooms and I just really enjoy working in the ER environment and I'm really excited that this is going to be my first rotation. Now I am nervous because I've only worked there as a registrar. So registrars, if you are not familiar with what they do, is that they're the annoying individuals who go into your room and they try to get a copay out of you for the e for the ER visit or want your insurance information. That's what I used to do. Um, so I only worked as a registrar and never worked as a nurse or technician or etc. So being there as a physician assistant, it's going to be something very, very different for me. So I'm very nervous. Thankfully, we just finished our clerkship class. So what our clerkship class is, is that it's called clinical clerkship, is that they learn us how to do, they teach us how to do procedures. So they teach us how to suture and how to do lumbar punctures, um, how to re remove ingrown, ingrown toenails, etc. So you'll be, um, I'll be able to do that usually in the ER. So I'm really thankful that my mind is really fresh since we just completed that course. Versus some of my classmates, I know that got ER for almost their last rotation. So they're nervous because they're scared they're gonna forget how to do these procedures and thankfully ER is my first one so I'm just fresh from learning how to do these procedures and I hope hope hopefully I'll be able to do this in the emergency room so yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys and then I'll show you also the rest of my clinical rotations and what they're going to be um my elective is my last rotation so my elective won't be until next year around this time so around August or July and I'm in between what rotations I'm going to choose. I, I know I really want to do emergency medicine, but I'm also interested in infectious diseases. Infectious diseases has always interested me also, uh, even when I was an undergraduate. So I really want to do that. So I'm, I don't know if I want to do, don't know if I want to do my elective rotation in infectious diseases and also plastics. Uh, plastic surgery also interests me a lot, so that's an also another one I have in mind. So I'm in between ER for my elective, so doing another ER rotation, um, plastic surgery or infectious diseases. So out of all the rotations that we have, we only have one elective, so fortunately I can only choose one and I'll have to decide. So yeah, um, I'll show you guys right now what my rotations are. Alright, so my first rotation is going to be emergency medicine. 
which I'm very happy because we just finished our clinical clerkship class during the summer where we learned a lot of medical procedures like suturing, so this will be fresh in my mind. And then after that, I will have ob and finally surgery. This is going to be for fall of 2019. And then in 2020, I'm going to start with psychiatry, pediatrics, internal medicine, family medicine, and finally, my elective is going to be my last one for rotations, which is great because then I'll be able to see what I want to do. And here is just to show you what the dates are for each of the rotations. So different classmates are in different groups, so they have different rotations as you can see here. So the rotations are the same as mine. Alright guys, so as always, if you guys like these videos, please comment below if you have any questions or anything like that. Um, I will get back to you as soon as possible, so feel free to shoot me an email. I am nervous about starting my rotation, so I will be vlogging about that. Alright guys, talk to you guys later. Bye.